I really hope it's clear to people now that the PSG project was a marketing one and not a footballing one. I thought this was obvious to most people that all PSG was doing was signing the shiniest toys in the market. But a lot of people seem shocked that PSG went out to Bayern Munich. When the reality is, they were never going to succeed in Europe with the way their model went. Now, I want to be obvious. From a marketing perspective, they've done an excellent job. I mean, where the PSG brand is now compared to where it was around 10 years ago when the project started is night and day. They're much more well known, especially by the casual fan base. And they are considered a top European club just because of the size of their stadium, the fans, obviously the quality of players they have. In terms of brand name, they have some of the biggest names in world football. And then you look at stuff like the marketing project that they have with the Jordan brand. This this is huge stuff for a footballing club. But from a footballing perspective, this model was never going to give them the success that they were looking for. Obviously, they're going to absolutely dominate the Uber Eats League. That's a given. They spend more than any other team in there. Back in the day, you know, Lyon and Marseille used to be the big boys in Ligue 1. But PHA spent so much money that it's not even close. So, even if they drop points here and there or lose a game here and there, they have too much talent not to achieve longevity in the league. When you play 38 games... Talent is going to beat the majority of the other clubs. No one's near them in terms of quality. But the big test for them is the Champions League. PSG does not have a rich history in this competition. So obviously the owners, they want to make something happen. They want to leave an imprint in the world of European football. And that's just not going to happen with this model. Because instead of developing youth players and developing local players in a way that the players there could actually play with passion and play with pride... They just keep signing mercenary players. Look at the teams that have succeeded in the Champions League. Real Madrid is probably the most successful. When you look at their team on paper, they're not some star-studded team. In fact, some of their best teams on paper never won the Champions League. You look at the Galacticos. You look at some of those Real Madrid teams under Jose Mourinho that came really close. Those teams had great players in every single position. And then you compare it with the team that won the Champions League last year. There's not as much talent, but those guys fought for the badge. And that's where you need to succeed in European competitions. The players need to be willing to give it their all. They need to be fighting for a goal rather than a paycheck. But PSG has a bunch of guys that are only there for a paycheck. I mean, Fabian Ruiz, Carlos Soleil, even to a certain extent Messi, why would they care one bit about PSG? They're just there to collect the check and move around. It's obvious, the, the lack of passion. What baffles me is people thinking, number one, that this is Messi's fault somehow, when there's 10 years of uh, work to look at to realize that they've been a failure. And the, the thing is, they haven't just been a failure. Some of their exits in Champions League football have been embarrassing. From the remontada against Barcelona, which, you know, how can you be in the lead by that much and then lose to some of the ways they've gone out recently. I mean, people will talk about the final that they reached, but the reality is I think it was a combination of a bit of a fluke season with COVID going on. But more importantly, they just didn't play any elite teams till the final where they played Bayern Munich. I mean, they played Dortmund. I think they played Leipzig. And they played Atalanta. And, you know, full credit to those teams. Those are good European teams, but they're not the elite teams. PSG should be beating those guys when they've spent the money that they have. And then you look at, they spent over a billion dollars They've sacked probably about six different managers. They've had 10 years to develop a project. And they've broken the transfer fee two times. Once for Neymar, once for Mbappe. And they have nothing to show for it. In fact, Mbappe was arguably the biggest reason they lost the final. Because he just missed so many chances in front of goal. So the Messi thing is irrelevant. right? People want to talk about Messi and they want to blame him. Whether he stays or he leaves, this team is worse without him. And they've failed in the Champions League far before he got there. And if they continue this sort of model, they'll continue to fail after. Because PSG has had some incredible players in their academy. And they're in a city that breeds a lot of young talent. What they should have done from a footballing perspective, the owners are never going to do this because they care about money and the brand. But from a footballing perspective, you take those youth level players and you develop them. And then you mix it in with some guys that you think fit the system out on the transfer market. Right, you look at some of the players that were in the PSG Academy that PSG didn't develop and who've gone to other clubs. You have Diaby, you have Kingsley Coleman, you have the goalie for AC Milan. 
these guys were great players. Now, again, with youth players, there's always the argument, would they have developed like that had they been at PSG? They should have at least been given the opportunity. Because it makes no sense not to develop those guys. And those players are going to fight for the badge. Those guys are going to give you their all when the going gets tough in the Champions League as opposed to you know guys that they signed before, like when they had the, early in the project, someone like Ezekiel Lovetsy. You know, what incentive does he have to go over and above for PSG besides a paycheck? You know, I actually thought they did really well in the beginning when they did the financial takeover, right? In 2012, when they basically ransacked Serie A for all the top players they got, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Thiago Silva, Marco Verratti, who at the time was just a you know, known young talent. You know, people didn't know that he could become a world-class central midfielder, Marquinhos. I thought they did a good job, right? They actually picked... The guys they spent money on were actually good. Zlatan was very successful. Edison Cavani later, very successful players. But I think recently they've lost sight of where they want to be and they've just signed too many mercenaries. And you can't do that if you want to compete in the Champions League. So what does this all mean? It seems crippling obvious to everyone outside of PSG that they need to rip apart this whole project and start again. As I said, Paris is the biggest hotbed of football and talent in the world. Sign up these young, exciting players, get some local players, and then mix in an odd superstar. Because right now, the project is fundamentally not interesting. And other than to the casual fan who might want to follow Mbappe or Neymar, they're not going to care for the actual team, and they're just there to catch a couple of games. If you really want to have success in European competition, you have to redo this project and do it right. Because PSG right now is not a football team. It's just a toy for the obscenely wealthy oligarchs. There is no sporting project. And this was obvious last year when they gave Mbappe that ungodly contract. Spending that much money on one individual gives them the ability to be known that they're bigger than the club. No proper squad like Bayern Munich, Manchester City, Liverpool, Real Madrid are ever giving one individual that much money. In fact, you saw with Real Madrid, they were willing to let Ronaldo go because they felt like what he was asking for wasn't justified. And Ronaldo is the greatest player of all time in Real Madrid's history. 